Hi there all to new friends, welcome back. In this card making tutorial, I'm going to show you three incredible ways to add a heartfelt touch to your thank you cards. By incorporating these tips, you'll be able to create truly unique cards that leave a lasting impression on your recipient. Subscribers of the Altenew Craft of Flower received the Japanese Camellia layering die set for September 2023. I went ahead and cut all the arrow layering die cut motifs, a few of the leaves, and the arrow layering flower center images from white to cardstock. There are many flowers that symbolically represent gratitude and thanks. I found the Camellia to be one of those flowers, so I thought this month's Craft of Flower is quite fitting. In the Altenew stamp wheel, I'm arranging the arrow layering petals on the sticky mat. This will help grip my delicate pieces of cardstock while ink blending. I'll also need my mini ink blending tools to create beautiful miniature gradients. To color these Japanese camellia petals, I'm using Red Cosmos Fresh Dye Ink family, starting with Frosty Pink, then Coral Berry, Ruby Red, and finally Grape Vine. Notice I'm using darker values on the first and second arrow layers in comparison to the third and fourth layers. For the leaves, I used Green Fields Fresh Dye Inks to make a light gradient. I used another set of mini ink blending tools to make this glossy looking leaf. I started with Frayed Leaf. then Forest Glades, and finished with Evergreen. Then finally, with the arrow layered Camellia Centers, I used Summer Afternoon Fresh Dye Inks in Warm Sunshine for the base. Then Caramel Toffee for the Anther layer. Before I glue all these pieces together, I waited for the ink to completely dry. I used the stage to my stamp wheel to help hold my fine die cuts together while gluing. I wanted another flower to pair with the Japanese Camellia Craft of Flower, aside from the smaller corresponding bloom in the aforementioned die set. I always think it's important to incorporate an admirable attribute or something significant about your relationship between the thank you card recipient and you, the crafter, into the card design. For example, I'm thankful that the zinnias in my home garden have been prolific, healthy, and have come in a variety of beautiful colors. I've been sharing bouquets of this flower with people in my life. There is a paper version of the beautiful zinnia in the Craft of Flower Zinnia layering die set. To color this flower, I'm using the Golden Sunset Fresh Dye Ink Bundle, making gentle gradients on the petals, just like the camellia. I'm starting with a base of sunray, then chamomile, snapdragon, and finally terracotta. Again, notice I'm using darker values on the first and second keyhole layers in comparison to the third and fourth layers. For the leaves, I used Greenfield's Fresh Dye Inks to make a light gradient again. I used Forest Glades, then Evergreen to distinguish the Zinnia leaves from the Camellia foliage. I used the Summer Afternoon Fresh Dye Inks to color the flower centers. I used Warm Sunshine for the Anther layer, and then Paper Bag for the base layer. Just like the previous flower, I waited for the ink to completely dry before gluing the die cuts together. Here is the assembled bouquet with all my ink blended flowers and foliage. I foam mounted a few elements with instant dimension foam tape to bring elements forward. Now my card is ready for a sentiment. I like keeping the outside sentiments clean and concise with a graceful thanks or thank you sentiment. I made the sentiment banner from the Elegant Sayings Bundles by White Heat Embossing the Thank You Sentiment on some brushed gold cardstock.
To maintain the clean and simple design of this thank you card, I kept the embellishing at a minimum with splatters from the metallic watercolor 14 pan set. I used gold pearl to match the brushed gold cardstock. Then I added pure white ink sprays to the flowers to add a little bit more texture. As for the inside of the thank you card, some of my favorite stamp sentiments come from the Beautiful Quotes stamp set. I think they have some of the best heartfelt sentiments for a range of formalities like friends, partners, or professionals. I reach for this stamp set a lot. Then after this sentiment, I recommend being specific about what you're thanking your recipient for. Handwrite this thankful sentiment. Don't forget to sign your name. And now your thank you card is complete. I hope you enjoyed these three tips for making your very own thank you card. Make sure to check out the description box for the materials I used on this card. My series encourages you to shop your existing all to new stash and rekindle their love with newer releases. Perfect Pairings with JC airs on the all to new channel every second and fourth Sunday of the month. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in to this perfect pairing episode with me and I'll see you in the next one. Hello there crafty friend Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques, and tutorials just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.